Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh is sweeter than honey. Yahweh is more precious than gold. Yahweh is the supreme authority. Still the hand has never yet been told. Oh, Yahweh is my heavenly Father. Yahweh is my creator too. Yahweh is my provider. Without him, there's nothing I can do. Oh, Yahshua is the son of Yahweh. Yahshua is my savior too. By the spirit, they are one. Hallelujah. They are one, never two and neither three. Hallelujah. They are one, never two and neither three. Hallelujah. They are one, never two and neither three. Hallelujah. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. He is the strength of my life and I shall not be ashamed. One thing I desire, I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh forever to behold his beauty to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he shall have me in his tabernacle he shall hide me he shall set me upon a rock and I will praise his name all the days of my life. Yahweh is my life and my salvation. He is the strength of my life and I shall not be ashamed. One thing I desire. I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh forever to behold his beauty, to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And I will praise his name all the days of my life. And I will praise his name all the days of my life. And I will praise his name all the days of my life. They that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
teach me a way, teach me a way to wait. They that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not sing. Teach me a way, teach me a way to wait. Teach me a way. Away to wait. Teach me our way, teach me our way to wait. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. Hallelujah. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and we are saved. The righteous run into it, and we are saved. Hallelujah. The righteous run into it. And we are saved. I love you. I love you. I love you, Yahweh, today. Because you came to me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Oh, my, my, my heart, my body belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Golgotha's tree. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I thank you for allowing me into your home today, and I say welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we praise Father Yahweh for you. I honor Father Yahweh by faith in Yahshua the Messiah, his son. I thank Father Yahweh for allowing me to be here at PCTV all these many years, 25 years, and then my 26th year had started. I praise Father Yahweh for you, and I pray that if you don't have your Bibles, your pencils, and your paper, that you'll get them, that you may follow along the scriptures with me. I praise Father Yahweh for life and life abundantly in, through, and by Yahshua the Messiah, his son. I thank Father Yahweh for how he is moving through the land, and he's blessing, and yet 
much judgment is in the land because we are in the last of the last days. And yet Father Yahweh is calling his people. He's speaking in their ear and he's saying, come out from among them and be you separate. And he's calling them by their name. And all they have to do is say, yes, Yahweh, I hear you. And so Father Yahweh is calling a people for his name's sake. The title of this message today is Yahweh is. And if we really understand who Yahweh is, hallelujah, we will bless him. We will praise his name. We will obey him. We will honor him. And we will honor his son. And his son will give him all the honor and the glory that he deserves because he already did it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he did it by being obedient, even as we are to be obedient to what our Heavenly Father is calling us to do. And even before we begin this message, let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, creator of heaven and earth, through your Son, Yahshua, the Messiah. Father, we thank you for your love and your mercy. Thank you for your extended grace upon our lives. Father, we thank you for what you do and how you do what you do. Father Yahweh, we thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for sound minds. We thank you for health and strength in our bodies. We thank you for traveling mercies. We thank you for the saving power of Yahshua, thanking you for the blood which he shed on the tree at Golgotha. Father, we thank you for how you have kept us for your direction. We thank you for our children and our sisters and brothers, our nieces, nephews, aunts, and uncles and cousins. Father, all around the world, we lift up our, the fivefold ministry, all those that you've given gifts to, all those that you shall give gifts to, all that you're calling, Father, and you're calling everyone to repentance, everyone to repentance. And yet, Father, your word says, and they repented not. But, Father, we just ask you in the name of Yahshua that even as we speak a word, even as Yahshua spoke in John chapter 17, that those who would hear us, Father, would hear Yahshua and then would hear you as well. So, Father, we just magnify your name. We thank you for what you've done, for what you're doing, and what you shall do in calling each one of us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, we praise your name. We thank you for keeping us safe, Father. And Father, while many things are going on in this world, people steal, people vandalize, but Father Yahweh, you know who they are, you know what's going to happen. And Father, we just ask you in the name of Yahshua that everyone that will turn to you, Father, that you will bless them, that you will forgive their sins. And Father, we acknowledge our sin and the sin of our foreparents. Father, for all the things that we have done and confessed already, we just ask your mercy and your extended grace. And Father, we say that if there be anything in our life that is not pleasing to you, that you, by the power of your spirit, will reveal it to us and give us the strength to overcome it and to turn from it and to turn to you by faith in Yahshua the Messiah, your son, our savior, our master, and our soon coming king. And Father, we just thank you, we love you, we worship you, and we praise your name and thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you shall do in our lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As I said, today's lesson message is called Yahweh Is. Yahweh is our Heavenly Father. Yahweh is our Creator too. Yahweh is our provider and without Him, hallelujah, there's nothing that we can do. As I've been sharing over the course of time, I've been sharing the scriptures, showing who Father Yahweh is from the Old Covenant, from the New Covenant, showing that his, He sent His Son, Yahshua the Messiah, and He came in His name, and because He sent Him, he is allowing us as a people today to realize who we are and that he has called us. And as he called our foreparents out of the land of Egypt and allowed them to go through, well, if they had a faith to believe, and yet he had to get some things out of them, so they walked through because of unbelief through the wilderness for 40 years. And yet we know that Yahweh is our Heavenly Father. I want to start even at... Um, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, and many of you have maybe taught this uh, scripture to your children, but I want to say Lord and God are titles, and Yahweh is our, is the name of our Heavenly Father. So in Psalm 23, it says, Yahweh is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my life. 
He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of Yahweh forever. I love that song, and my sister-in-law loves it even more, <laughs> or is the same, because she says it all the time. That is one of the psalms that she likes. And uh, as we think about who Father Yahweh is and that he is our shepherd, he provides for us the things that we need, safety and comfort and a place to stay and food to eat and water to drink. And yet, as we look in the scripture, we want to realize that our foreparents had been in the land of Egypt and had been bond slaves for 400 years. And yet, as Father Yahweh called them out, he began to show even Moshe many things. Moshe was born in an Egyptian household, so he did not know Father Yahweh in his uh, grown-up years, uh, even though he was trained or weaned, or I'm going to say he was with his mother in the beginning. But even in uh, Exodus chapter, chapter 4, the scripture shows us that Yashara is Father Yahweh's firstborn son. You may say Israel, but in Ephesians 3.15, it shows us a people and a land named after Yahweh. And so if we understand that, um, Moshe was told to, uh, by Father Yahweh, he says, he says, and thus shall you say unto Pharaoh, thus saith Yahweh, Yashara, Israel, is my son, even my firstborn. So as he was calling our foreparents out of the land of Egypt, and yet he told Pharaoh, I told Moshe to tell Pharaoh, he said, let my people go. And that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about just who Yahweh, Father Yahweh is. He is our father. And so if, if Yashara is his first um, begotten or born son, then we have to recognize that that makes Yahweh the father. So as we continue on in the scripture, we want to realize that as Father Yahweh calls us out and as we receive the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh indwelling us, then he becomes our father for real, <laughs> not just in word, but in deed. So another uh, thing, um, scripture that we want to look at is Psalm 27, Psalm 27. And I sang that song in the opening. And it says, Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fail. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing that I have desired of Yahweh, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh for uh, all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh, to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And it goes on to say, and I will praise his name all the days of my life. So down, um, as, as we continue to look at the scripture, it, it uh, tells us to wait on Yahweh, to wait on Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on Yahweh. So all these Psalms and all through the scripture, you see different things about Father Yahweh. And a lot of times, because we did not know him as Yahweh, even in our early years. You know, we called him Lord, we called him God. Some people called him Jehovah. But his name, Y-H-W-H, -H, four letters in his name, uh, is Yahweh. And so as we look at the scriptures, we know that we have to honor him 
and honor him by his name. We also want to look at uh, Psalm 60, uh, 16, verse 5. Psalm 16, verse 5. When we really think about all the different things that Father Yahweh truly is to us. It says, Yahweh is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup you maintain my lot. And so when you really think about what, he ha what happens, uh, Yahweh is the portion of my inheritance. For us to be able to be Father Yahweh's, we must have a portion of him in us, if you can even understand that. You know, we have this air in the room. If there were a hundred of us in the room with me, there's only just myself, then each one of us would take a little bit of the air. Same thing with the Holy Spirit. When Father Yahweh calls us, each one of us receive a portion of his spirit as we receive the Holy Spirit because we've been obedient to him. So he is a portion of my inheritance and of my cup. You maintain my lot. You know, he says, he anoints my head with oil, my cup runs over. So we're not just talking about a natural cup for drinking. We're talking about our body being the uh, temple for the Holy Spirit. And if our body is the temple for the Holy Spirit, then there are many things that we can do and that Father Yahweh does in each one of us. In Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 3, and I pray that you will follow along with me. Um, because if we really try to understand what the scriptures are saying, it's showing us little by little who Father Yahweh is. It says, understand therefore this day that Yahweh is he which goes over before you as a consuming fire shall, he shall destroy them and he shall bring them down before your face. So shall you drive them out and destroy them quickly as Yahweh has said unto you. In the old covenant, our foreparents were the ones who had to drive the enemy out. Well, we also have to drive the enemy out. And yet Father Yahweh is the one who goes before us, even through and by his son, Yahshua the Messiah. You know, when we really think about the fact that our Savior, his son, came in his name. We read that in John 543. And a lot of times because people have not heard the scripture, have not read them, have not connected them, then they really don't know who Father Yahweh or his son really are. And yet the scriptures that you know that are true, apply them to Yahweh and Yahshua because that is their name. And because Yahshua is going to be coming down from heaven soon to fulfill his father's will, to gather up all the people that Father Yahweh has given to him, then we want to be ready for the feast of blowing the trumpets so that when Yahshua comes, we can go with him, hallelujah, and be gathered together. In John chapter 5, verse 43, Yahshua says, I'm coming my Father's name, and you receive me not. But if another come in his own name, him you will receive. And so we know that there's some things that have happened in this world, and yet as the translators have translated whatever they translated, it's up to us. The scripture tells us to study, to show ourselves approved unto Yahweh, a workman who needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. It says to prove all things and hold fast that which is good, First, first Thessalonians. And it says to search the scriptures. Yahshua was speaking. He said, search the scriptures for they, um, you speak of me. And, and the scriptures are showing um, about him in Psalm. It said um, he, was, he was telling them no matter what happened to search the scriptures because the scriptures speak about him all the way from Genesis 3.15, all the way from the first chapter of Genesis. Bereshit or Genesis because Yahshua is the one who is the uh, creator. He is the savior. He is our high priest and yet he came to do Father Yahweh's will. He even came to die on our behalf because Father Yahweh cannot die because Yahweh is spirit. John 4 24 it says in John 4 24 when we really think about some of the things that it's saying and I'm actually dealing with because I'm going to do part one and a part two 
mainly because there are a lot of things that people need to know about our Heavenly Father. Yahweh is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. We have a fleshly body, but to be able to worship Father Yahweh in spirit and in truth, we need the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit indwelling us. And the only way we get the Holy Spirit is to obey Father Yahweh. And yet we have to know who he is, uh, obey his commandments, and uh, do the things that he is calling us to do. In Psalm chapter 10, Psalm chapter 10, as I said, Father Yahweh, he's our father, he's our creator, through his son, he is our creator. And that's a whole story and a lesson that takes some time to share, and I've shared it many times, and I will share it again. But in Psalm 10, uh, chapter 10, verse 16, it says, Yahweh is king forever and ever. It says, the heathen are perished out of his land, but he is our king. He is our king forever and ever. And some people say, well, how is Yahweh our king? You know, if you really think about some of the things that happened in the old covenant, our foreparents wanted a uh, king like the nations. And so therefore, in them uh, wanting a king, Father Yahweh told uh, Samuel, he said, uh, Samuel was the prophet at the time, he told him, he said, do not, um, he said, they're not rejecting you, he said, because they are rejecting me from being king over them. And that's found in uh, 1 Samuel. And yet as we are looking at the scripture and really thinking about some of the things that Father Yahweh has said for us to do as a people, he said, keep his commandments and live. You know, because when we are disobedient to the commandments that Father Yahweh has given us, then we cannot receive the salvation that he wants us to have. And so we want to realize that as we obey him and as we trust him, that he does some things for us that no man can do. And when we're trusting him and looking at the word, then Father Yahweh is faithful to those of us who uh, do his blessed will. In Psalm 11, verse 4, it says, Yahweh is in his temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. Yahweh is our heavenly father. And a lot of times, sometimes people went somewhere, and because something happened in their life, they got stuck. So they have no faith to believe. But we must believe that Father Yahweh is, and they rewarded them that diligently Seek him. We have to ask for the Holy Spirit, and yet we must seek him with our whole heart. And when we need something, keep knocking. Because guess what? If we ask, seek, and knock, which means to ask, and we do what he says for us to do, because he'll tell us what to do, then we can receive the Ruach HaKadosh indwelling us so that we can be the children, the sons and daughters that he's calling out of darkness into his marvelous light, even today. So Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, the eyes of the children of men. But we just want people to realize that Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh is up in heaven. A lot of times people think they go to heaven. We don't go to heaven. We're going to go up to a, a, an elevated space, meet Yahshua in the air as he's coming down. The marriage supper is going to be performed, and we come back down to this earth so that we can um, do and be the people that Father Yahweh has called out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 10, you know, as we read through the scripture, everything that we want to find is not in one place. It says here a little and there a little. And yet as we look through the scripture, we find exactly what we need to find. And if we realize over the course of time that many things have happened so that we, we just want to see what we need to do. 
I'm going to read in uh, Jeremiah chapter 10. It says, but Yahweh is the true creator. He is the living creator and an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and, and the nations shall not be able to hide, to abide his indignation. Thus shall you say unto them, the mighty ones have not made the heavens and the earth even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. It says, Yahweh, he made the earth by his power. Who's his power? Yahshua is Father Yahweh's power. He hath made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and have stretched out the heavens by his discretion. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heaven, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the end of the earth. He makes lightning with rain and brings forth the wind out of his treasures. It says the portion, of verse 16, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is, he is the former of all things, and Yasharal is the rod of of his inheritance, Yahweh of hosts is his name. Yahweh of Shabbat is his name. So when we really think about that, Yahweh is our Heavenly Father's name. We say, Hallelujah. And sometimes I say, Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Because guess what? That's the fullness of his name. When we just say hallelujah, that's just giving you a portion. But that's what, by the Spirit, he causes us to, to speak when he is calling us or when our spirit, when we're praising him. He said, let everything that have breath praise Yahweh. So hallelujah means praise you, Yahweh. And we want to praise him no matter what, no matter what goes on in our life. People can come in your house and steal things. People can vandalize your things. People can cut cross you, but say hallelujah, because guess what? Everything that's done wickedly, Father Yahweh takes care of through and by his son, Yahshua, who is the power of his hand. Hallelujah. We want to trust Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh allows his word to go forth. He does nothing unless he allows it to be known, and the prophets are the ones who share that word. And so we want to praise Father Yahweh because, hallelujah, he is the one that we ought to worship. Worship belongs to Yahweh, you know. And so even as it said in John chapter 4, 24, it says um, to worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Yahweh, Yahweh is spirit. He's not a spirit. The angels are spirits, but Yahweh is the whole essence of spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. We want to turn now to Psalm 145 and verse 9. Psalm 145 and verse 9, and it says, Yahweh is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Yahweh is good to all, and his tender mercies are unto all his works. Now think about this. For all those who are watching right now, and if nobody watches, everyone in this world, including me, Yahweh has been good to us, and giving us the breath of life. Many people laid down last night or fell down, and some did not wake back up. But Father Yahweh is good to all, to all, not some. He is good to all of us. Sometimes people don't recognize him and don't want to worship him in the manner that they should. And so because of that, listen, people have gone astray and done all. We all have sinned. And yet, Father Yahweh is good to us. He sent Yahshua into the world. And because he sent him into the world, if we believe by faith in him to realize that he shed his blood on the tree at Golgotha, then we will receive Yahshua as our Savior. 
We will make him master of our life and rule out that he's going to be our soon coming king and reign for a thousand years before Father Yahweh comes down to tabernacle with us. We want to look at the scripture and we want to look at them in the, for the purpose that Father Yahweh has given them to us and then realize that as we are obedient to his commandments, that he does some things in us that no man can do. You know, we have to search the scriptures and truly see what the scriptures say to us. In um, uh, uh, Psalm 46 and uh, uh, 1, and I'm going to look at verse 7. It says, Yahweh is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. You know, sometimes we all get in trouble. Listen, all sometimes lots of things are going on. But guess what? Father Yahweh is our refuge. Anything that we have, can't take this with me. Can't take anything with me. And yet, when people do things to you, turn to Father Yahweh. He is our refuge, a very present help in trouble, in the time of trouble. He will hide us in his pavilion. He is our protector. He is our provider. He is all the things that we need, and we just have to seek him with our whole heart. In Psalm 46, verse 7, it says, Yahweh of Shabbat, or Yahweh of hosts, is with us. Yahweh of Jacob is our refuge. Yahweh, our foreparent Jacob, also Yazak, and even Abraham knew Father Yahweh. They made altars to Father Yahweh. And the only way they could do that is that he made himself known unto them. And because he made himself known unto them, then they were able to make an altar unto Father Yahweh. We praise Father Yahweh for what he's doing, how he does what he does, and we know that there's nothing that we can do in and of ourselves. If he's our light, if he's our salvation, if he is our shepherd, if he is our king, if he is our father, then we have to worship him in that manner because as our creator, we want to do the things that he calls us to do. And if we're doing what he said to do, then listen, all things will work well. In Proverbs, we're going to go to another book. And remember, as I've shared so many times, the scriptures were written on scrolls. And yet we want to know, want you to know that Yahweh is our maker. Yahweh is, it says, the rich, Proverbs 22, verse 2. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with verse 1 because we're talking about the name Yahweh. Yahweh is. So it says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Listen, if we don't have a good name, we can have all the silver and gold that we want and it, it doesn't get us anywhere. We want to be saved. And if we're saved by the hand of Father Yahweh through Yahshua, then that is a good place to be. It says, the rich and poor meet together. Yahweh is the maker of them all. Yahweh is the maker of them all. You may be reading your scripture and wondering, well, where is she seeing Yahweh's name? But one thing that I want you to realize and understand that the scriptures were all written in the Hebrew tongue and then translated, and then translated again, and then translated again. And because they've been translated, we have to recognize that the translators took and did what they wanted to do. But Father Yahweh's name is in many scriptures, cl clearly, all the way through, the way it ought to be. And in some cases, you may have to put his name where it ought to be. Because when we say, hallelujah, that is the highest praise that man can give to our Heavenly Father or even to his son who came in his name. And if we lengthen Yahshua's name, it would be Yahweh Shua because Yahweh became our Savior in, through, and by his son because Father Yahweh cannot die. Hallelujah. Yahweh is alive and well and cannot die. He's not a man that he should lie. And so we thank Father Yahweh for 
what he's done, what he's doing, and how he does what he does. Because if he doesn't do it, it can't happen. In um, Proverbs 18.10, I sang this song too. It said, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. He's also a high tower. And so when we really think about needing to be safe, to be uh, protected, Father Yahweh does a lot of things for us. A lot of times people are trying to do things. And li listen, some, listen, when the wicked do wickedly, let them do their wickedness. Because guess what? Father Yahweh is going to provide salvation for the righteous. But the wicked are going to be taken out of the land. And one thing that we have to realize is that no matter what we do, when we pray, you know, we have written ma many magazines, the power of prayer. The power of prayer is more powerful than you will ever even imagine. And because Father Yahweh is seeking out a people who will pray, who will seek his faith, and it says to pray without ceasing. So no matter, even while I'm here, I'm thinking, listen, if I needed to stop and pray right now, I would pray. And yet I prayed before we started. Why? Because there's a lot of things going on in the world, and yet Father Yahweh loves us. And even as Father Yahweh has a name, we have to recognize that, you know, people, people don't want to call on Father Yahweh's name, but mankind sets up his own ability by a name. And so, you know, I purchased different cars, and, and those car makers are C. Harper Ford and Don Allen and, and Dave Ford and things like that there. And yet, you know, you go to your phone companies and you have Sprint and Verizon and Comcast, and you have various things. You know, you have your light company, Duquesne Light and, and whatever else you have. You have gas companies, Columbia and Peoples. Everything is named by a name, and so we honor Father Yahweh, because he has shown us his name, he's given us his name, and because he's given us his name, we honor him by his name, because his name is Kodesh, his name is holy. And because we are doing what he said to do, then listen, a lot of things are going to happen, and yet we want to recognize Father Yahweh for the purposes that he has, listen, he loves us. It says, for Yahweh so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If we believe by faith in Yahshua the Messiah, listen, and truly believe to the point of receiving him, indwelling, because we are obeying the commandments of, of Yahweh, then all things work together for good to them who love Yahweh and are called according to his purpose. You know, if we don't love Father Yahweh, then guess what? doesn't matter what we do. Father Yahweh loves us. And yet, you know, as I was sharing, a lot of people want their name to be somewhere, but then they don't want to reverence our Heavenly Father by his name. You know, and so the scripture says, and reverent and holy is his name. And that's found in, um, I want to say, Psalm, uh, I think, 109 and verse verse 11. Is that right? Uh, anyway, I'll find that in a minute. Um, but when we really think about who Father Yahweh is, without Father Yahweh, we would all be like this, gone, dead. But Father Yahweh loved us enough to wake us up every morning. Some people say, I, want, I don't want my pie in the sky. Father Yahweh blesses us right now while we're on this earth. You know, if, if a person is stumbling and he allows them to keep their feet up on the ground and they don't fall down, then guess what? That is a blessing because many people fall down, they break their ankles, they break their whatever, their hips, and then they have to recover. But if he is keeping our bodies up and we're not having a whole lot of problem, then that is a blessing, and it's a blessing indeed. And yet, as I... As we, you know, look at the scripture, think about some of the things that uh, the scripture say, then we want to honor Father Yahweh and honor him with the things that he is saying to us. And 
uh, Exodus chapter 15. It says, verse 2, and this is when Moshe was singing the song, and this is after Pharaoh and his army were drowned in the Reed Sea. It says, Yahweh is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my father, and I will prepare for him a habitation. My father's father, and I will exalt him. Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Now listen, my prayer is that you, look, you have cell phones, punch in Yahweh and Yahshua. And please know this, for everything that's good, somebody wicked writes something bad. But Yahweh is our heavenly father. Put it in your browser, Yahweh, Y-H-W-H, Y-A-H-W-E-H. Punch in Yahweh's name and see what you find and see if you don't find his name there. You know, for to be saved, you must know the name of your heavenly father. And the scripture says that we'll be given a new name. And as I said, Ephesians 3.15 says, everything in heaven and earth is named after Yahweh. My spiritual name, Hanayah, which means the grace of Yahweh. Uh, Mattathiah, I think it's the gift of Yahweh. Matthew. You know, and there are so many other names, Jeremiah, Zechariah, Yahweh remembers, different things. And so if we really look at the scripture and know that a name has a meaning and every name is for a purpose, then we can recognize that as we go back to the Hebrew, that we will see some things that need to be known so that we can be the people that Father Yahweh is calling out of darkness into his marvelous light. You know, everyone who does wickedly and never repents will go to the lake that burns with fire. But all who will live a righteous life, who will seek Father Yahweh, ask, seek, and not, nah, and find him, they shall end up in the kingdom of Yahweh forever and ever and ever. And Yahweh is king forever. We praise Father Yahweh for his word. And as we continue to uh, search, we pray that you will find the things that you need to find so that all will be done in accordance to Yahweh's will. Hallelujah. We praise Father Yahweh for all things in Yahshua's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The trumpet shall sound. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yahweh. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. The name Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and the are saved. The righteous run into it, and we are saved. The name Yahweh is. A strong tower, the righteous run into it, and we are saved. The name Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and we are saved. The righteous run into it, and we are saved. The righteous run into it, and we are saved. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. 
But we know when Yahshua shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. For he shall see him as he is. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. We shall be like him. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. For we shall see him as he is. For we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. Yahweh is my king. Yahweh is my light. Yahweh is my son and shield. Yahweh is he which goes over before us. Yahweh is our portion of our inheritance. Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Yahweh is my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Yahweh is the true father. He is the living father and an everlasting king, creator. Yahweh is the strength and song. He has become my salvation. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my father, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and my horn and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Psalm 18.2. Yahweh is my shepherd. Yahweh is my king. Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh is near unto them that are brokenhearted and such as are of a contrite spirit. Psalm 34, 18. Yahweh is our refuge and strength and uh, a very present help in the time of trouble. Yahweh is love. You shall, Yahweh shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. Yahweh of hosts is with us. Yahweh is good to all. Yahweh is faithful, Yahweh is spirit, Yahweh is a strong tower, and Yahweh is our maker. Hallelujah. We praise Father Yahweh for who he is, for revealing himself to us through his son, Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh is sweeter than honey. Yahweh is more precious than gold. Yahweh is the supreme authority. Silver has never yet been told. Oh, Yahweh is my heavenly Father. Yahweh is my creator too. Yahweh is my provider. Without him, there's nothing I can do. Oh, Yahweh is sweeter than honey. Yahweh is more precious than gold. Yahweh is the supreme authority. Silver has never yet been told. Oh, Yahweh is my heavenly father. Yahweh is my creator too. Yahweh is 
my provider. Without him, there's nothing I can do. Yahshua is the son of Yahweh. Yahshua is my savior too. By the Spirit, they are one. They are one, never two and neither three. They are one, never two and neither three. They are one, never two and neither three. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahshua is coming back very soon. Hallelujah. Time for everyone to turn to Yahshua HaMashiach. His son, our Savior, our Master, and our soon coming King. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 